can't try to hide behind the makeup, but the show must go on. That sh show must go on. No, 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 no. My Jared Tones, my friends, what's going on, y'all? I'm glad that y'all are here for another vocal breakdown, vocal analysis, vocal feedback video, whatever you want to call it. We're back for another one of those. And y'all, this was requested by a few people over the last couple days. But when I saw the performance, I was like, oh, yeah, this is good. This is really good. So anyway, enough of that. Let's get into Miss Lady Gaga singing Happy Mistake. Let's do it. I'm acting in this play with tragic words do you hear those vocal slides I'm da 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 play up comedy with tragic words those slides can kind of give a more heavy emotive nature to the vocal line comedy with tragic words <sighs> It's almost like a sung sigh, if you will. But she's using those little tiny slides throughout many of the ends of words in these verses here. The audience was smiling. Smiling. Instead of smiling, smiling. And it's almost like she changed the vowel in the end of smiling. Smiling. See what I'm saying? It's a very slight change. Smiling. It almost gets warmer and taller and darker on the second half of the end. Smiling. Cheering on a scene absurd. That D of surd, surd. It was very soft, but it was there, and it had a vocal slide before it. So, it was very poignant, very poignant, yeah. I can try to hide behind the makeup, but the show must go on. I can try, vocal fry on that eye. I can try to hide behind the. So that vocal fry added a little more texture to the vocal line, a little more emotive uh, heaviness, kind of like another type of a sigh. I can try, uh, just some kind of heaviness. You know how you'd be like, oh my gosh, uh. It's that kind of same thought, that same connotation, that same emotive, you know, sound that we make. That I had the most smoothest onset. Oh my gosh. Did y'all hear that? I, 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 I feel so crazy. That was so nice. And I can't redo it as smooth as her. I can't do that onset as smooth as her, but it was so. It was just so pure and so tune, right on the money in the vibrato. Ah, as she moved down in that line right there. Feel so crazy, not crazy, crazy, crazy. So she added a vowel, I guess, in the vowel instead of crazy, e e, crazy. So it added a diphthong, if you will. Mirrors, not mirrors, mirrors. So the uh, 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 it's almost like a uh, the R is kind of more open, if you will, instead of mirror, uh, the tongue is down. Mirrors, mirrors. But that second I'm, instead of I feel so crazy, that I'm in a bad way, that was more of a breathy onset. Ah. Okay, so the first one was a little bit more of a smooth kind of just onset, but that second one right here, I'm in a bad way, hi, had an H in front of the I, okay? Hi, I'm in a bad way. And she's keeping this really rather lofty, ah, thin fold, heady sound. Ah. It's really thin, but it's really pretty. Ooh. So it's not a lot of intensity, but it's still very poignant, very musical. If I could fix the broken pieces, then I'd have a happy mistake. 
mistake. Now at the end of that word, it had a vocal fry. At the end of that word, it has a vocal fry. Mistake. See what I'm saying? I kind of did a little bit more than she did, but it was there. <laughs> I just realized, I feel like she's singing this sob, especially at the beginning, the first verse in chorus. It's like a whimper. Feel so crazy. And even in the mouth, it's almost like a frown, if you will. So everything's kind of more wider, almost like a yawn, if you will. Mm, it's more retracted, uh, uh, open. I feel so crazy. You see what I'm saying? But here she's a little bit more thicker in the sound. The sound is progressing. The song is progressing as well. Ah, it's a little more chesty. And in these throws here, they're more breathy. Before it was kind of just a more voiced throw. But here we're adding breathiness or aspiration to the vocal throws themselves, the vocal slides. I can try to hide behind the makeup, but the shot. That sh show must go on. That thing shot up right there. La, 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 da, 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 la. You see how she kind of shifted her vocal track shape very quickly. It was low. It was dark. Lance is probably down a little bit. La, da, 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 da. But then she went up to that show. Everything kind of shot up, meaning the Lance kind of went up. Everything kind of got a little more twangier, a little more brighter. But it was quick. La, da, 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 sh and, and that could kind of be the emotion, the mental space of this song. Kind of the shiftiness, the uncertainty, the instability of the feeling behind this song, if you will. I'm just inferring right now from what I'm understanding from the song or the lyrics, but that's what I'm getting when I hear that jump up, how it kind of shifted so quick. Lady Gaga is such a consummate artist. I just love that about her. I love that she puts her all into everything that she gives us that she puts out and so it's like these different bodies of work these different eras that she gives us in addition to everything else that she does so well but it's just she's such an artist and i love people i love musical artists <laughs> who are artists you know who put out work who put out bodies of work who put out concepts who put out thoughts you know it's way more than just i'm just gonna make this sound pretty what am i trying to say what is what is what does this mean you know what what am i trying to have y'all feel i love that she does that with all of her music you know within whatever era that she's in or that she wants to be you know i love that i love that that i had more of like a glottal onset ah ah was more thicker, more brighter, a little bit more twangier. Feel so crazy! Then she added that grit on crazy! Kind of like that. I can't do it quite like her, but you see I'm adding a little bit more compression on that crazy there than before. Did you hear how dark mirrors was that time? Mirror! It's almost like she dropped the larynx more, opened up the throat. Mirror, instead of mirrors, no. Mirrors, open is wide. Mirrors. That way, I love how she shaped that way. It was a bad way. So if you notice, I should have said this before, but if you notice, she doesn't do a lot of diphthongs in this song. Though I kind of say she adds diphthongs, she modifies the vowel, so to speak. But she doesn't add a lot of diphthongs like way, it was way, it wasn't way. 
Y Y Y Okay, so it was still kind of dark and the tongue moved a little bit away, a little bit. But for the most part, it was way, way, almost like W open E. Way, 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 or like W E H. Way, way, way. If I could fix the broken pieces, then I'd have a happy mistake. If I could put on a face any day. If I that eye was spread. If I da, da, then it went back to more darker, more longer. La, da, 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 sunny day. So so musical as well she just gets it and she can change her voice to match the genre or the emotion the portrayal the artistry that she wants to portray if you will wants to show us wants to showcase she changes her vocal instrument to match that you know I mean, she could pop up and sing some big band jazz on you, then turn on sing some musical theater, then turn on sing some rock, if you will, or some like you know soft rock, then turn on sing some R and B, turn on sing some pop. Like she could, she could just do it. She could just change it, and she just modifies her technique a little bit. She's still who she is vocally. She just modifies the technique a little bit to fit what she wants to do. Yeah, it's called being an artist. <laughs> you know, it's called evolving. You know, I'm saying, you know, our voices change, our voices evolve, not only because we live as humans and we exist, and as we age, our voices change. Not even that, that's not even what I'm talking about, really. I'm just talking about being an artist, and, you know, as you live and have experiences, those things influence your artistry. So then, as a result, maybe my voice does change a little bit. My approach may change a little bit. Maybe this stage calls for a different type of singing, this venue, this concert, this song. You know what I'm saying? So she is just so versatile in her vocal delivery she can modify and fit whatever genre she wants to sing and she knows her voice very well too and she sings for her voice and I really respect that about her that oh had a little nasality I feel like oh, I know, I know, I know, I know. something like that had a little nasality sound in there I liked hearing her breathe there. That <sighs> I like that. See, I'm always a fan of humanity and singing and like just the human experience of people being humans when they sing. It doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to like cut out everything. Like I wanna hear the breathing. I wanna hear that. To me, it makes it so authentic. I love that. I love that. Had a little aspiration in there. With a little kind of pops or vocal breaks in there. Intentionality, human, very humane. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed watching it with y'all. And as I will always continue to say to you, be vocally bold, creative and aware, but most of all, be vocally you. I love you so much. I'll see you soon.